Animated Plots Using Python Plotly Library We have already learned how to plot different types of charts using Plotly Python. In this lesson, we will learn how to animate the plots using Plotly. In Plotly Express, we can create animated figures using the animation underscore frame and animation underscore group parameters. These parameters are available in several Plotly Express functions. In this lesson, we will create animated bar chart and animated scatter plot. So, let's begin. Let's begin with the Gapminder data frame available in Plotly library. As we can see, the data frame has various columns such as country, continent, year, life exp, pop, etc. Now let's create a simple bar chart using the country and pop columns. We will also use the continent column for groups the bars in different colors. Here is our inanimate bar chart for all the countries. Let's filter the data for a particular continent, say, Europe. Let's rerun the code again. Now the chart depicts only the European countries. Now let's animate the chart using the animation underscore frame parameter. Here we will use the year column for this parameter. Now our chart has a slider at the bottom side with start and stop buttons at the left. Animation will start if we press the start button. You may have noticed that the y-axis tick values are changing in each frame. We may fix this by using the range underscore y parameter. The value for this parameter should be as per the minimum and maximum value of our Y column. Now let's animate the chart by pressing the start button. See, the animation looks better now. Now we will quickly change the name of the continent and the range underscore y parameters for displaying the charts of other continents. Now let's format the chart with title, labels, font size, etc. If you find any difficulties in understanding these parameters, please watch the earlier lessons.
This statement is for generating the animated bar chart. And this is for formatting the chart. Now we will modify the code to animate the population growth for all the continents. Here we will use the animation underscore group parameter for grouping the countries into respective continents. We also need to change the X parameter to continent. The Y column is not appearing well, so, let's add the range underscore Y parameter to fix this issue. Now the animation is much better. We may remove one or more continents using the legends as shown here. Now we will quickly see how to create an animated bar chart using data from a CSV file as shown here. The CSV file has three columns, outlet, year, and sales. The data consists of sales figure for various outlets and different years. And here is the code that uses the CSV file, sales2.csv. The remaining lines of codes are similar to our previous example. And here is our animated bar chart. Isn't it beautiful? Now let's animate a scatter plot. Here, instead of the bar function, we will use the scatter function with the same dataset and almost the same parameters as that of the bar chart. This is almost the same, so I will not explain much, just follow me while I code. Here we will first plot an inanimate scatter plot, then we will add various parameters one by one and create animated charts. Here is our version 1 of Scatterplot. It is static. Making the X scale logarithmic. Let's add parameters for animation, animation underscore frame and animation underscore group. And here is our version 1 of animated Scatterplot. Let's change the maximum size of the bubbles. Let's set the range underscore y and range underscore x parameters so that the bubbles are within the boundaries. Let's rename the labels with meaningful names.
Let's set the size of the bubbles as per the GDP per capita. Roll back to the previous configuration. This is how we can animate a scatter plot in Plotly. We may further improve the appearance with more formatting options such as giving titles, setting different fonts, etc. Pasting codes for updating the layout with title, font color, etc. This update layout statement sets the title at the top center position of the screen with font size of 18. And this update layout statement sets font styles. And finally setting the font family for the x-axis title. This is our final code. Let's run the code and see the result of our final codes. So beautiful, isn't it? Let's move the slider by hand and see the frames one by one. Now let's use the legends to display the charts for Africa only.